I need to go to the bathroom real quick. From forth the questionable minds of Greg and Liberty, we bring you the GNL Show. Hey guys, Greg C96 here, along with almost all of Big Box. Yeah, Noel's not here. Yeah. Oh, no. Noel, pulled, Noel tried to pull an all-nighter, yeah. So let's give you some frame here. For us, it's 8 in the morning. 8.23 to be exact. For Griffin, it's 5.23 in the morning, and he's and, here. And Noel was the one who went And Noel was, was the one who was up. too tired, because he tried to pull an all-nighter waiting for this. Even I didn't pull an all-nighter. And it was that early was for you. It's early for you. Like... So yeah, so we've all inhaled and ingested a bunch of coffee. We'll be awake shortly. Yep. Well, I'm already pretty awake. Yeah, I mean, Griffin's like, already pretty awake. I'm not too bad, because I've been outside laying bricks and doing yard work for the past three hours. I'm miserable because I've got a horrible stomachache, but I'll get this shit. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> so we have a couple of topics to talk about. We're going to be playing <laughs> some games. Uh, yep. Yeah. <clears throat> Fuck you, Greg. Oh. I Maybe am playing some now. Seven Days to Die. I am playing nothing. Sam and I are playing some magic. So you guys are probably wondering, Griffin, what drove you to the point that you need to be awake at 5 in the morning? Us. Well, you know what? That's a topic for another day. Yes. <laughs> Why'd you well, even bring it up? We don't talk about it. Griffin's awake at 5 in the morning because he loves us, and Noel hates us. Basically. Basically. That's how it works. I mean, like, I kind of want this thing to grow, not shrivel I mean, and um, yeah. shrivel up and die. I'm gonna yeah. always forget to draw cards, Sam. That's fine. Okay, what's right. your first topic? First topic: smart credit card terminals can to be hacked. Yes, this was my topic. So, um, I love this stuff, but Black Hat Cybersecurity Conference in Las Vegas last Thursday which is the day subsequently we recorded episode 3. Uh, two security registers showed how easily criminals are able to take control of credit card terminals, even what are known as smart credit card terminals, which are supposed to be safe because they use uh, latest chip and pin machine, I guess, because they encrypt your pin as you type it and they don't store your credit card data. So it's supposedly perfectly safe. Supposedly. Yeah, no. as we know, nothing's perfectly safe. Well, we, you see, anything that uses electronics can be hacked. Oh, no, so, of course, of like, course. This doesn't come as a surprise at all. No, not at all. To me, it doesn't. But, so I guess MWR Labs, which I don't know what that stands for. Microsoft um, Whirlwind Radio Labs? Sure, let's go with that. Close enough. Microsoft <laughs> Whirlwind Radio Labs, okay. Works for me. Um, so yeah. Uh, what the? It's okay. too early. That was weird. <laughs> it is too early for this. I'm trying to figure out a computer program. <laughs> you can say that. Greg, you don't program it. Um, so, but yeah. So these companies, and I guess they work closely with the financial industry and government. Uh, they haven't seen it happen yet. But, seen it happen. That uh, doesn't mean it hasn't. Fuck, I just lagged and punched out one of my own windows. <laughs> nice. So, apparently, all it takes is inserting a smart card with malware on it into the terminal. And it's that easy. That That's really simple. I'll put the quote. It's that easy because the tournament, terminals operate on a false sense of trust. They think whatever cards pass through them are authentic bank cards. That's a problem in the software. Yeah. Like... Yeah. Uh oh. Uh, Sam's about to play a better game this time. Oh, wait, no. Why did I do that? I need to untap everything. Well, uh -huh. Alright, so. Yeah, so that's, there's... that's about it for that. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, Griff. I don't know, it's fine. There's like these spy satellites that are supposedly. Fighting crime from space. Crime from space. Captain Planet. Wait, no, he's not space. He can fight crime. It's global warming. He's so, like, 
there is this husband, right, that buried um, the body of his wife near the highway um, of Manchester. And the police were tracking it for a long-ass time. And the satellite, it's in, so sensitive, it can pick up, like, rabbit holes beneath bushes. Damn. Yeah. Kind of terrifying if you think that's looking into your window. He's it's looking climbing in, in your windows. <laughs> we have Stealing all your people. You were thinking the same thing. Yup, I was. So, I mean, I don't know, should that be surprising? Nah. Not really, no. We know we're being watched. I'm over it. Well, not me, because this happened in Northern England. Well, yeah, that's true. It's in Manchester, look at the It's in Manchester, I thought of, um... Uh-oh, Piscadio. Sibia. Alright, so... The Wii U... No one likes it, but can Mario Kart 8 save it? No. I want no. to say yes, but it can't. This is, this is my topic. Um, So, th with this one, Mario Kart was literally my childhood. Yeah. Like, on the N64. And it was a great game, but the Wii U is such a bad system. Why do you guys Thank get so you. much hate for the Wii U, man? Because it sucks. It I is, actually they tried to like it. It's a generation behind everything else. Okay, it is. that is true. That doesn't I'm mean it's bad. bad. You still Nintendo use the 60, don't you? Nintendo has been known for pushing the boundaries, which they did with the Wii. So when the Wii U came out, it was just and it didn't push the boundaries that it should have, it was just a yeah, mass disappointment. Disappointing. Okay, I'll give you that. So, that doesn't necessarily make it a bad system, though. And even if every single person who bought a Wii U bought Mario Kart 8, the, what's it called, the, um, it yep. would still be the second worst selling game that Nintendo has ever produced. Well, you know, um, Wii Sports is, the, is technically the best selling game of all time. Oh, really? Yes, because yeah. it came factory with all Wii's. But here's the thing. It, it can't be doing too bad if their sales projections for the fiscal year are three and a half million. That is really low for a game. Yeah, it is. No, this is for the console, it's saying. Dude, GTA uh, 5 made like a hundred million in the first, like, five months. No, they're taught not sales, number of units sold. Oh. Uh, that is I still so. only... That is still less than GTA 5. But you're, you're comparing, no, less you're than comparing a game to a console. Still yes. less than the Xbox One. That doesn't work. Uh, my, my point about that is, like, comparing the game to the console, they sold more of one game than they will that entire console. Well, that's the way it works. <laughs> that's not the way it should work for a successful console. Oh, yeah. Of course not. If they're projecting sales for the console... You could have been released... Um, released uh executed properly yes take that back and shoot it <laughs> but dude lego city undercover that's on the 360 and xbox one get it on that can we yes and oh okay PC? screw the wii u then <laughs> 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 wow changing sides quickly very that was my only holding power was the uh Lego City Undercover. I think it's also on the PS3 and PS4, too. Oh, dude. And maybe the 3DS. PlayStation, even better. Yeah. I actually, um, I like the tablet integration on that game, though. I think the Wii U would have been far, far, far more revolutionary if it came out, like, ten years ago. Speaking of the yeah, tablet. Yeah, it came out when the original Wii came out. Everyone would be like, uh, uh tablet. Because now tablets it's like, aren't a normal oh, part of life. It's a stiff why it's here. Someone stuck an iPad to a cube. <laughs> Psst, Sam. Yep. You gonna finish your turn? Speaking of the Great. iPad, apparently, um, <laughs> apparently Bioshock 1 is gonna be available on the iPad. That makes me sad. Why does it Seriously? make you sad? 
Because it's such a good game that defines the beginning of a generation. Sam, you gonna pass it over to me? And now it's gonna sit on the I fucking did. app store. There you go. Damn. It's the same thing that happened with GTA San Andreas. It's just like, it's not the same. You can't capture the atmosphere of playing that game on a PS2. You can't capture the atmosphere of playing Bioshock 1 on an Xbox. It's, you can't. Did you ever try playing the game using only the wrench? Yes, and I've done it like twice. I'm a huge Bioshock fan. Anyways. So, this was Noel's topic, but he left. Yeah. Like, right after. Damn, Noel. Samsung's three-sided display enters trials and prototype is expected by end of the year. No. Samsung wireless <laughs> business unit managed director said, The features in detail to be said, but there are plans to launch new models in, in a native flagship and large screen category preparing an attractive flagship applying the native So guys, this just goes to show you that we actually don't know what anyone else's topic is before the show, because as you could clearly tell, Griffin just read that word for word from Noel's notes. It's true. <laughs> we have no idea what we're talking about on the show <laughs> no, until we, are we talk talking about, about it. Bye. <laughs> so, like, that's literally it. Three-sided display, what the hell does that mean? I don't know what that looks like. I'm Googling it right now. Three-sided display. How would that even work? Since I'm doing a Bandicam window cap. Oh, it's for smartphones. It's a well, beveled kinda... edge to the display. That's weird. Weren't that... There you go, guys. That's a three-sided display. I mean, it could look stupider. You're right, it could. It looks like it has but a slide-out I... keyboard, almost. You're right, it does. Almost. What is this? 2000. So that's a three sided display. Oh, my cobalt. Don't. Alrighty. Okay. When I hear three sided display, I, for some reason I thought TV. Because it is Samsung and they do everything. So, Facebook Messenger app is now finally a thing. No, it's been so, a thing. It's been a thing for like months. It's just but now, now one of the most required. hated apps of all time. Well, no, I mean, I mean, like they're forcing people to make it a thing. Yes, it's one of the highest used apps on the App Store. It's also got one of the lowest ratings of all time, saying a one star rating. Oh, sorry, Sam. I didn't mean to do that. I was just like, what is that? I was actually reading about this yesterday. Um, it's a horrible mistake on Facebook's part. And you know, there's some serious security things with it. Earlier, a couple week, a couple uh, about a month ago, I think, I said, I told Greg that I was like, I heard that the Facebook app can access your camera and um, microphone without um, getting uh, any permissions. Mm -hmm. I was wrong. It's not the Facebook app; it's the Messenger app. Is it actually? It completely violates any um, privacy you thought you had using the app. But should we really think we have any privacy in society? Yes, no. we should try. Conspiracy theories. Go down, I did my magic fingers. Like, I'm so, just Conspiracy theories. Hey, we're all awake now. Uh, not even close. <sighs> oh, man. So, we're yeah. So they fin I can't believe they finally got... Okay, what I have to say about this is... Messenger app is not a thing on iPad iOS. And I They're don't think it's it, a though. thing on Nexus on uh, Android. It is. Yes, it is. Messengers on Android. Okay. Oh, yes. Sorry, I had to do that. No. Okay. I'm gonna have to get that now. <sighs> no. Well, you could not. Well, if I need, then again, yeah, I never bring my Nexus Seven with me. I have my phone. Um. Draw card. So, I can't pronounce this, but Xianami just took over China. That's my topic. I can talk about this. I have no idea what that means. Uh, Xiaomi is a Chinese smartphone company. Okay. So, they've dominated the market in China, apparently, recently. And because of their aggressive pricing strategies, it's thought that they will dominate the market elsewhere. 
Like oh, Big Box well. Enterprise. Okay. <laughs> no. Back to Big Box! Someone, uh, apparently, not naming names. In the second quarter, yep. they actually captured 14% of the Chinese market. Hey, hey, Greg. Yeah. You don't have enough to play Axe Pain Stack. Yeah, I do. Elvish Mystic can be tapped to add mana. Right, uh huh. My bad. So, 5 oh, and 2 is. What the fuck are you talking about? We're playing Magic. Magic. <laughs> oh. Um, Alright, well, the thing with cell phones is in different countries, their markets are completely different. Like, right. in the U.S., uh, we pay for our phones and less for our contracts. And if you go over to uh, the U.K., you pay for your contracts, not your phone. Yeah. So you could get, like, really, really good cheap phones like iPhones, but your bill every month is excessive. really expensive. Yeah. That, okay, and, that's true. But I guess, so apparently though, this is pretty impressive. And I guess it just goes to show you how gigantic China is. But it captured 14% of the Chinese market, which translates to 15 million smartphones. <laughs> That's a Holy lot. Shit. And apparently yeah, this company does 90% of their uh, smartphone sales in China. Hmm. That's so, ridiculous. that's insanity. It really is. But apparently... Oh, wow, holy shit. It's what? success there. Just in China is good enough to make it the fifth largest smartphone maker in the world. Behind Samsung, Apple, Huawei, and Lenovo. Lenovo makes smartphones? Lenovo? Yeah. Sure. Lenovo? I didn't know that. I did not know that. Lenovo ThinkPad Mini Mini? Yeah. <laughs> ThinkPad Mini Mini. You ever heard you like ThinkPads? So I have a feeling that the next topic is liberties. Wait, but this topic's not over. But yeah, it is liberties. Wait, which topic? Uh, so, uh, I didn't know you um, Apparently this company wants international markets, and right now it's aiming at Indonesia, Mexico, Russia, Thailand, and Turkey by the end of the year. So press on aiming at, like, the U.S. and U.K. These are, those are, like, the really big markets filled with lazy people willing to shell out lots of so, money. So, apparently, super low price phones, online only sales. Some people are not thinking it's enough to translate to global dominance. Uh, a few people outside of China have heard of Xiaomi, and any carrier that starts selling Xiaomi phones will have to work its cutout to market the devices to customers. Uh, it's aggressive pricing model, quote, it's aggressive pricing model will certainly resonate beyond China, but the challenge it faces from scaling its model for success on a global stage should not be underestimated. Uh, that said, Xiaomi does have the potential to be a disruptive force beyond China, and international vendors should take note. That was a long quote. Yeah, that is a long quote. Okay, we're gonna move on? Well, what's your take on this? Oh, oh yeah, we should talk about it. I well, don't even... Like I, like I said before, different markets have different standards. Yeah. Ours, we have the expensive phones, cheap prices for contracts and cheap is completely relative here right so like their model may work phenomenally in china but that doesn't mean it's gonna work great in the u.s right that's true they're gonna have to completely adjust their business model for it to work in the u.s and to work in different countries so that doesn't mean that it will so it's I mean, he's got a point there uh, right. tap 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 You know you can make a box over all of them, yeah. and then oh, right yeah, that's right, I can. So I'm gonna play Howl of Night Pack, oh, God damn it. and that's one of the ones that the thing is missing. So reading off the card, uh, it's a sorcery. It requires six any color and a green, and you put a two-two green wolf creature token onto the battlefield for each forest you control. So I know my audience. Mm -hmm. I don't get them either. <laughs> Okay, Liberty, let's talk about your topic now, because I'm quite... Uh, I put two. Which one is it? The potato salad one. Okay, so there's, there was this dude on um, Kickstarter. Kickstarter, right? And he made the stupid little Kickstarter for his potato salad. He made a potato salad and put it up on Kickstarter. You can control J. And... Made fifty-five thousand dollars. 
which means that he, he's basically promised what is like three thousand backers a bite of his potato salad. A bite of his potato salad, if you know what I mean. Potato salad and the recipe. You put one too many, Greg. No, I have six forests. So. Right. I know, just, got... just stack them. Okay. Yeah, but that is. Got to figure out how he's gonna set three thousand something people a bite of potato salad to the yeah. U.S. Postal Service. Fifty-five thousand dollars. Well, three thousand three hundred and thirty people. What the uh, hell? Three thousand. Okay. Sorry. Why would you donate to that fucking Kickstarter? Because, <laughs> okay. So here is the American condition: anything weird, wacky, or obscure, we all, we are all over. Unless it's too weird, wacky, and obscure. That he raises his eye point, but no. I'm cutting down the tree on top of my mountain. Um. Cutting down the tree. Um. I'm cutting down the tree. That is, you know, like just how how large is a bite? I'm just wondering. Like, is that like yeah, a tablespoon or? Is it like man's gonna make a lot of potato? Like, is it a chunk of potato? Is it a tablespoon? Is it like a little crumb? Because that's all he can afford to give. Well, he's gonna make more, I'm assuming. <laughs> no, the Kickstarter was for one potato salad. I know, but how the yes, fuck do you divide up the 3,330 parts? <laughs> it's like how poor people used to do it. Oh. Dude, I wish Noel was here. You could tell us how to oh. share it. <laughs> oh. Oh. Because oh. he's not awful. here, the asshole. I'm not saying wrong, <laughs> but that's still mean. Oh, I know it's mean, <laughs> but it's okay. Oh, that's expensive. Each pull of potato salad is like $16. <sighs> I needed to start battling sooner, I think, in this game. Well, I'm going to do like a second guy and more creatures in it, but next topic. Which is mine. Five, five years on, may, millions still dig oh, farm. Really? But... That's still a popular thing. Like, yeah, they yeah. they released Far Farmville too, actually. Um, and this oh is like. Oh my god. I originally wasn't gonna do this, and then I read through the article, and this this lady says, quote unquote, Farmville two. My son's math score has <laughs> drastically increased. His grades are improving from C's to B minus. I mean A minuses and B pluses. I love that he's learning through a game and enjoys without thinking of it as homework. Because it's not homework, cause it's fucking Farmville. There, okay, that's like saying, um, because the weather's hot, there's a lot of sequels, because that's been statistically proven. That's false. There's a bunch of other factors involved in that. So if you go to a really hot beach, there's going to be, if you go to a beach and it's on a really hot day, there's going to be a lot more sequels than if you go to a beach on a rainy day. Yeah, but the rainy day, there's still going to be seagulls. Seagulls don't like flying during the rain. Yes, but seagulls go to the beach to get food. Right. Yes. So, they're going to be there. Yeah. The, kid, the kid's playing this game online. But he just that so happens to get the fact. best math teacher of his life this school year. Yeah. Like, <laughs> How is he learning? Like, don't I, hate don't, I don't understand. Like, is he, like, figuring out, like, time? Does, can he control time now? Because that would help my math skills. <laughs> He's a time lord! <laughs> but I should start playing farm pill. No, I'm going to play Farmville 2, and I'm going to graduate as valedictorian. That's I mean, I get video games <laughs> teaching you life skills. I mean, I learned to read through fucking Morrowind, but... I Farmville see. isn't a game, it's just shit. <laughs> hey, hey, Morrowind came out in, like, what, 2003? Shut up, 2002. You were playing it at five years old? Yes, don't question that. Either way... Oh, no, I just died. Okay, Sam. Okay, what? What's that? Those are counters for its devotion. Right now there's only two. It needs five to become a creature. Oh, I need okay. to look this up on how Farmville 2 can be educational. Yeah, you search this up right now. Okay. Meanwhile, one of you yeah. guys talk about the next topic. Okay, Steam client beta updates allow you to hide games from your library. This is also my topic. Okay. Um, I think this is genius, actually. I've you've been oh. able to do that for a while. I'm pretty sure. No, you can um, mask them so they don't show up, and other people look at your library. Not sh not actually block them from showing up. 
like, at all. So. Um, it may, basically makes it so that the computer does, thinks it doesn't exist. But you can bring it back. Um, mm. The example they give is like, oh, you don't want your friends to know you spent 400 hours in Leisure Suit Larry. <laughs> I would totally want my friends to know that. <laughs> I would too. But... <laughs> Sorry, Sam, you have to do some math here. No, I don't. I spent 500 hours in Skyrim. Oh, damn it. You'll have to do some serious math next turn, though. Oh, okay. What? There's a whole bunch of problems involving rates. <laughs> I'm involving Wait, what? Rates? Yeah, rates. Oh, rate so problems. they actually added, like, something ah. other than sitting around in Farmville. Click, click, yeah. click, 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 um, farm. No, click, 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 that's league. Um, no. Then there's... Fuck! <laughs> what was that? Um, losing. <laughs> that is what that was. My teammates are idiots. So, okay. we're at the end of the topics, is that... No, um, we're not. Like, we're 26 are. minutes in. Oh my god. <laughs> Well, so let's just talk uh, about stuff. Yeah, we are now going totally off on a tangent. Okay, well, we can do this, though, because yeah, I've actually gonna... been thinking of shit. Oh, so, cool. can we just talk about early access games for a minute? Sure, let's go for it. Because I know some people who have bought early access games that then got cancelled. Yes. Like... There needs to be some way to regulate so you gave money to this developer to keep doing their game. And to get access to it before everybody else. But how... What if that game just stops? Do you suddenly have lost all that money? At the moment, that's how it is. I think that we need like a system in place on Steam to allow us to get money back if that thing happens. I mean, if, you, if you've like gotten early access games, how many of them have actually gotten released? I can only think of one. Sir, so you're being hunted. Got released. I'm playing one right now. God, I hope this one gets released because I fucking love it, but... Well, the thing is, Early Access Games, um, they will still be open on, um, on Steam. Yeah, but it's no longer being supported. Ah, oh, come on! <laughs> what? Screw yeah. you, Sam! Hey, you changed your name to Spam Johnson. I did uh, do that. Hashtag Spam Johnson. Hashtag <sighs> Spam Secret Tunnel. Secret Tunnel. That's and then they die. Okay, so that's why it's still on the um house, Lurdy. No, I have purposely left it there. Now I, I was... see why you're running the um Heliod cards. Yeah, because reasons. Uh... Yep. Well, no, it started off as a three-three, but because of the way his deck works, he now has it's an now eleven-nine. 11, nine. Frick, I have no idea what that means. That means Greg's screwed. Cause... Not necessarily. I have the ability to buff my Axe Bane stag up to that. Well, I'm attacking for 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I'm playing okay. a zombie game without zombies. So, oh, damn it. Yeah, I just, I have to lose 16. Oh, and I gain 11. Okay, that's fine. Greg, you've gone and died. I have not died yet. Which means I still think I'll lose, actually. Oh. <laughs> well, because what happens is he just did that. However, I have... Oh, really? I have, like, 20 creatures on the field. <laughs> so I can, in one turn, end him. Because he has nothing in his hand. That makes sense, I guess. And because I have 20 creatures in my hand, and he only has one... Six toughness creature that def oh it's not even a creature. Nope, but can't block. Which means I'm pretty sure you win because just through your wolves. Just through my wolves, wolves. alone, I have 24. I deal with this shit. 24. Oh. And then oh, Axe Bane's right. deck yep, is you six. <laughs> so yes. I'm loving this forest deck. Okay, like Griffin go. He's got an axe. Yep. Zoo. <laughs> Good game, Sam. Uh, yep. Apparently in Crimea, there's a zoo park with a zonkey in it. Half zebra, half donkey. I want yeah. Oh yeah, I heard about that. How big are they? Like, if it's small, I'll keep it in my room. 
<laughs> if it's small. Oh, and Sam, remember that thing I said about how I had the ability to buff it? I just needed to play mm -hmm. a land that I had groundswell. It looks right about three by three feet. Uh, Can you really keep room. that? Zonkeys are weird. They really are. <laughs> They're real weird. Now, see, right now I would talk League of Legends with you guys, but none of you guys like League. Yeah. I don't hate it. I, I don't, don't hate League. It. Okay, well, they just released a new patch. Okay. 4.13. And I'm looking up the patch notes. And for you guys, this literally will make zero sense. Um, There's probably some fans out there that play League. Probably. Um, maybe. Maybe. Oh, and Sam, by the way, I rolled an 18. What did I roll? One thing you rolled. Uh, never mind. No. <laughs> Cal, let's roll. Seven, okay. Do you um, want to go first? Or? Yeah. Alright, so I'm just trying to think of just yeah, all the champions. So. Yep. Um. Well, now they added five, they've added five new icons, which is just like something that was completely like un enthused. Yep. Um, but they added five new icons that you can get through playing Team Builder. Um, they're working on a new match history. They're updating the splash arts for the characters, which is going to be big because some of them are really old and outdated and look horrible. And then they fixed a buttload of bugs. <laughs> Which is good. Definitely good. And then that's not including all of the champion updates, which I'm not going to go into because that is literally like a 15 minute thing. Wait a oh, second. Okay. Guys. Uh, Microsoft and Nokia just released a new phone, but it's not a smartphone. Uh, and it's $25. <laughs> Um, it's the Nokia 130, and it's actually got a keypad on it for your numbers. Um, it's like ancient technology. Oh, what? Uh, so apparently, hey, Greg, you were the one who was talking about like getting rid of your smartphone. I know. This would never break. So, um, it's a feature phone, I guess. Um, and it falls into the sub 35 category, which apparently sells. Volumes of around 300 million a year globally. Yeah. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Greg, my turn. Yeah. I Oh, oopsie. I forgot to pass it. My bad. So. I mean, there's a lot of countries where smartphones just are not available yet. That is true. So I guess they're trying to capitalize on the fact that not everyone can afford a $400 brick. Um, I mean, that makes sense. No, it totally does. So apparently there's... Um, the 130 does not connect to the internet. But it does offer essentials, such as a flashlight, FM radio, and USB charging. That actually is really good. There's also playback for video stored on micro SDs up to 32 gigabytes, Bluetooth, and USB for sharing content between devices. While this type of phone business has been at steady decline in Western markets, yeah, it sells a lot globally. Um, so, maybe it's not such a bad move. It just seems uh, weird to us, but... Oh. oh, do we still want to do the poll questions? I can't we figure can... out how Noel did yeah. the poll questions. Oh, okay. Daily only. Yeah, the weekly, the weekly knolls. Um. So yeah, apparently that's a thing. <sighs> Which is completely surprising. It's but. very surprising, yeah. Uh, okay, so. Anybody else got anything else? We're at half an hour now. Oh, hey, hold on a second, guys. How did we go through those so quick? I really don't know. We didn't really have much to say about them, probably because we're so tired. Yeah. If I find the topic I talked about last time, 
Get us a good 15 minutes. Well, I. Of Putin. Oh. <laughs> oh, I have another one I wanted to talk about. Good. Good. So, um. This has to kind of do with the, um. The whole early access thing. But. Do you think that the games market's being flooded by the amount of really shitty games? There's um, so many games that gamers can't, like. To Steam is fucking horrible lately with how many games they're putting out. I don't think that's a problem because gaming is an industry that will always be there. So even if there are really undeveloped, like not phenomenal games, people still need it. Yeah, like, but people. Here, here's the thing a lot of those games are like really low budget, really shitty, and they're crowding up the amount of other games that are just popping up on Steam. Like, you're more likely to see 12 really shitty made in three days games on Steam than you are to see a couple AAA releases. Mm. Just because there's so many of them. Hey, Sam, All big title games are on the homepage. Destroy one of your planes. Why? Bramble Crash. That was rude. Uh -huh. It's okay. That's <laughs> rude. <laughs> okay, so guys. Apparently Windows Phone is no longer exclusive to Nokia. HTC... HTC One? No, the HTC is rele HTC is releasing the Windows Phone M8. That's not a Windows Phone. Uh nope. It is now creating a Windows Phone. The A11. The M8 is not a Windows Phone. It's calling it the Windows Phone M8. It's the A11. Huh. Okay. It's calling it the Windows Phone a M8. The HTC One W8 is being called the 1M8 for Windows. It's, it's being called that. that. That isn't the real name. Well, though. that's what it actually was addressed as in the article. So it's got a... It will be the same as the original M8. So a 5-inch 1080 display, ultra-pixel camera on the back, 5-megapixel camera on the front, quad-core Snapdragon, 32 gigs of storage, 2 gigs of RAM, 2,600 milliamp hour battery. So it's the M8 with Windows on it. Okay. So, but that's interesting that it's no longer a Nokia exclusive. I figured yeah. it would take gaining more traction in the market before it went away from Nokia. I did too, actually. So either it has more traction than I'm realizing it does? I don't think it does. Wait, whoa. I'm liking this app. Jesus Christ. Apparently Android just released... A uh, stable 32-bit operating system of version 4.4 for PC. Huh. Cool. I don't think I don't think Android should make a, a operating system. I agree. For computers, it just does not so. seem right to me. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely gonna lose this one. I lost my shingles. Isn't that a good thing, though? Yes. Um, oh, it's an unofficial port of Android. So. Uh -huh. Are you attacking? Yeah. Four. Six, four. four. Yep. Yeah. So Hold on, I might actually need to get this. Okay. But you're talking about unofficial port? Yep. Like, yeah. Okay. Come on, guys. Shit. Find some stuff to talk about. This is. We can't let this be the boring G and Never. Well, this is the last time done. we do this shit first thing in the morning, then, right? Yes. Well, yeah, I did need to get that. Okay. So, <sighs> regulating the web. Does the internet need its own bill of rights? I'm gonna use that as a poll question. Then I'll look at the article. Yes. What do you guys think? That's our weekly Noel, even though Noel's not here because he weekly tried to play an all nighter. And big mistake on Noel's part. Roly poly Noly. Made it up. <laughs> so what do you think, Griffin? Does the internet need its own bill of rights? No. No, I don't think so. I think yes. Yeah. Uh, apparently, the Italian government's working on a bill of rights for the internet right now. The Italians, <laughs> really? The Italians, yep. 
So the Italians. I think it's a decent idea because you know you can get a, if you start defining the rights of the internet user, you can't really just have people decide what what they're going to do when, whether or not we see it as just. Also, the ISPs are assholes. Fuck you, Comcast. Just say. Yeah. Just. Ooh, Comcast. Ooh. I guess I'll attack for four again. Yeah, attack for four. <sighs> I'm trying to think of some other stuff. Sorry, guys, if this is boring. Yeah, we apologize. Um, Family A, your retired teacher loses 250 pounds. Wow! Like some money? No. Sorry. Pounds as in, wait. Oh. Oh, hey. Remember we were talking about that Xiaomi company? Yeah. Yeah. So apparently their uh, messaging service, uh, <laughs> they had to make it optional because of some security problems. Uh, um, apparently it was allowing for unauthorized data access. <laughs> that's not good. Well, oh, boy. Ooh, this is interesting. Well, it's interesting. They made a prosthetic arm controlled by neural messages. Yeah. Which means... Mm -hmm. That like they can control a fake hand now with the stub of your arm. Yes, that's cool. It is cool. You're absolutely right. So it means that you've Wait. made prosthetics that do what you need them to do. Cyborgs are real. So did you know that Apple University is a thing? Yeah, probably. I just figured it out. No, oh, I did not know that. Oh, here's a. Um, poll question. Should a pot smoking mom breastfeed? Um, I want to say no. But I, I don't, don't think I have the, the right to determine. I was uh, about to say I don't know any of I don't know the effects thing. of weed on breast milk, so I feel like I'm not qualified to answer this. Neither um, am I. Why'd you even bring it up, though? Just to see if, like, you know, one of you guys knew what you know what you were talking and about. And Greg wins. Yeah, I again. Win. again, yeah. Right. Greg wins with 100 percent of the vote. Nine. T Wait, no, I can only attack for 11. Oh no, attacking for 11. Why? Because it's nine, one, and one. Never forget. So I'm just gonna put the power and toughness back down to normal. And tap those because We're at 42 it minutes. It. I know, and I'm, I'm just trying to play magic. Uh, uh, what time is striking audio from the visual algorithm recovers speech from vibrations of a potato chip bag filmed through soundproof glass? Wait, what? <laughs> Repeat that. Wait, what? <laughs> Extracting audio from visual information. Algorithm recovers speech from vibrations of a potato chip bag filmed oh through God. soundproof glass. Why would you even think like that? Someone's that is a genius. Like, that is hilarious. That's ridiculous. Researchers at MIT, Microsoft, and Adobe have developed an algorithm that can reconstruct an audio signal by analyzing uh, mini. Uh, whatever that word is, vibrations of right objects, news. yep, depicted in a video. So Ridiculous. That's very ridiculous. Let's talk about that. What does it take to think about that? Hey, we can figure out what they're saying because of a potato chip bag in the room. So I got these potatoes. <laughs> so hey guys, we're, we just, we want to help you out. We're going to give you some chips. All right? That cool? Cool but, if we give you some chips? We don't, we don't need chips. We need, you know, audio recording software. Well, uh, no, I got your chips. <laughs> I just, I love the fact that somebody thought about that. The fact that that's a thing oh, makes me happy. That was someone's special idea. <laughs> so there was a CNN crew, alright, at a hotel, and a rocket exploded right next to it. Oh, sh <laughs> oh. shit. That's not good. That's not good. Ah, switch it over to me, Sam. Oh, I thought I did. Okay. Oh, that would make sense. They're in Gaza. Yes! 
I thought they're like <laughs> sitting in like Boston. But fuck gets a missile in Boston. Apparently special. I was kind of thinking like Missouri, but wait, I'm sorry, where was this? I missed that. Gaza. Gaza. Oh. Hmm. You know, the air attacks. Then again, that whole area is a huge. Can you do attack. anything, Sam? Nope. We need to rebuild this deck. Yep. We have the power. It, need, it definitely needs more mana. Yes. To take a shower for half an hour. I, think, I don't think that's how it goes. Uh, I don't think so either. Uh, yeah, that's probably not how it goes. No. Probably. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, guys. Uh, this is going back to what you said earlier, Liberty. Day. Yep. So, I'm, hold on, I'm actually gonna go play some Minecraft. But yeah, so this goes back to what you were saying earlier. About, um, how you were talking about all the crappy AAA titles. Yep. And stuff. So, apparently this company, uh, Game Jam Community, this guy, Ms. Minotaur, has been making one game a week, every week, for the past 38 weeks. Seriously? Yep. Like, are they really shitty or what? I don't know. Oh, I'm sorry, not this guy. This girl. Doesn't change the fact that no, that's I'm a lot of games. That, so. I'm just Okay, I'm going to put this out there. I don't think there's any way you can make a quality game in that much time. Actually, I think there is a way. I think it's just very, very difficult. Because you have the 4K challenge. You know what this, right? No. Yeah. They challenged a whole bunch of game developers to make a game... In a week, that's under 4K, 4 oh. kilobytes. Um, yeah. Notch did one. She did left 4K dead. The the zombie game. In nice. 4K. It's it's really it's fun for about half an hour because that was all of the content that they could put in. Makes sense. It's like but after that, it's like in. Yeah. I really wish that was a more successful thing. I mean, they do it every year. Well, I, I just wish he, like, took Left 4K Dead and made it a better thing, because that seems like it could be fun. Yeah, but here's the thing. He maxed out the 4K limit. No, I know that, but, like, go back on his own time and pursue it, you know, because that wouldn't totally get a lawsuit. I mean, he's not even with Minecraft anymore, right? Nope. Yeah, yeah he's, not, not he's not coding on uh, that, yeah. What is I he think he's just on sitting there? back, like... Enjoying his and money. money. <laughs> Probably just enjoying his money. That's what I'd be doing. Yeah, Jeb and Dinner Bone are now working on it. Dinner Bone. Dinner Bone actually spent a lot of time reading through on people's like what comments. What the stuff. hell, Liberty? Like, what? Why is there a hole in the wall in the back of Mine Mart? I told you, I blocked off part of it. Why, why we do don't have enough things, Greg. <laughs> so it's smaller for now. Is that the storage room? That's where the storage room is going to be. I did not God, have enough play no to finish it. I'll if fix it next time. Carl! If it's going to be a Walmart. That kills people. If it's going to be a Walmart, it can't be missing oh a wall. God. I'll I fix it later. Paint. Oh my god. Be good? I'm not saying he's wrong, but... We just an asshole. So that was interesting. We were all complaining at the same time. Oh, yeah. oh, 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 oh. That kills people. Uh, we're almost at okay, minutes. We're all tired. <laughs> Wait, why is there a hole in the wall? Damn, you were there, Griffin. <laughs> you were standing right the fuck next to me while I was doing Uh oh. That. This is a Again. problem. You what? made it bigger, though. A hacker turned FBI agent, ah, FBI informant led cyber attacks on Turkey's government while under U.S. Sur supervision. Oh, damn it. <laughs> okay, now, that, I think this is hilarious because when the government catches a hacker, they recruit them because, the government yeah. you know, is completely computer illiterate. That is probably one of the stupidest things you can do because now if they got caught again. once, that means they screwed up. Yeah. If they can... If they don't get caught, those are the hackers you want. You want the alleged hackers. You want to recruit the alleged hackers. But you want to hope they actually know what they're doing. 
Yes, and well, so if they're alleged someone... and you recruit them, um... I can make a calculator and see. What? I'm a hacker. What? <laughs> alleged hackers just want to know, hope they know what they're doing. I can make a calculator and see. <laughs> You're a TA. I can put a zip bomb on Noel's computer from my computer. Oh, airdrop! 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 Uh, See, I knew there. you were a fan of Apple. What? Airdrop is a feature on Apple devices. No, I just watched an air uh, plane go overhead and then drop a giant crate off in front of me. I'm aware of that. I was making a joke. Yeah, I don't like Apple. So, guys. I'll let you talk about this for a second while I go let my dog out real quick. Mac versus PC ads are back for the Surface Pro 3. Let's talk about that. Where the fuck did that airdrop go? Oh, right there. I don't understand that. I don't, I don't know what he was talking about. Yeah, you <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> no one was listening. So I don't know what's really stupid. Yeah. Idle games. Yes. Fuck what's fuck the point? Me. There isn't. But that is the point. But oh, I'm dying. So uh, let's find something to talk about. Let's play. I just picked up a whole bunch of radiated earth. Radiated what? Earth. Why? Like so in seven days of that if you go all the way to the edge of the map. Like, it's completely irradiated all around the, uh, edge. So I'm scooping up some of the, the irradiated dirt. Doesn't that hurt you? Of course, you? while I'm gone, Arcadius closes. Of course. No, no one heard what you were talking about. Yeah, so, we're all like, blah, 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 blah. Mac versus PC ads are back for, from Microsoft this time. For the Surface Pro 3. Oh, they never left, I... No, they did stop for a while. Apple stopped producing them. But now Microsoft has started off this time with the Mac versus PC ads. Because the Surface is better. Because they're comparing the Surface Pro 3 to the MacBook Air. This oh. uh, Previously, Windows tablet ads took aim at the iPad, but this time they're going out for the big guns of the newest laptop. So apparently they've made three of these ads. Uh, a few main points come through the ads, three slightly different ads. Uh, Touchscreen, kickstand, detachable keyboard, and the stylus. <laughs> so first off, MacBook Air does not need a kickstand. It's a freaking laptop. Might I just, can I just say that? Like, can we all agree on that? Yeah. Uh, second off, detachable keyboard. Well, you know... Uh, uh, hold on, the detachable keyboard, that's fine, whatever. I don't expect a laptop to have a detachable keyboard, and honestly, I'd probably never take the keyboard off of my service if I had one. I might. Like, because odds are, if I bought a Surface, I'd replace my laptop with it. Yeah, because that's fucking expensive. But then again, though, I suppose the limit on uh, replacing my laptop with that is actually the kickstand. Yeah. Like, I've seen very good what are called clamshell style keyboard cases for tablets that have a friction hinge so you don't need the kickstand so I'm almost surprised they couldn't have done something like that that's probably cheaper yeah well get the kickstand. yeah but the kickstand in my mind actually limits it because now it's no longer a replacement for a true laptop because you need a table to use it on unless you're using it as just a tablet or else it won't stand your, upright. Yeah, no, lap. Mm -hmm. Lap desk, yep, okay, sure. Well, here's the thing, kickstand, I've seen it, the kickstand does not work really well on I've seen it. uneven surfaces. Thatchable keyboard and, oh, and the stylus. Yeah, the, the article itself is saying the kickstand and detachable keyboard is clutching its straws. I mean, you know, because it makes the point I just made, the MacBook Air is a laptop. It's a... <laughs> if you want to adjust the screen, you don't tilt the kickstand, you just tilt the screen. <laughs> mm. Yeah. 
you know, like a laptop. You're a laptop. So I, I don't know. I just, I find it interesting. Your life's a laptop. Oh, shit. And you know what I, I want to see? And I don't think it'll happen, because Apple's going to make enough money anyways. But I would love to have Apple, like, modify one of their products to make it directly compete with the Surface Pro and really ignite this. You know what I mean? Wait, wait. Apple's, they're, they're releasing a new iPhone. Yes, the iPhone 6, yep. That should be coming out September 9th or so. It is just a larger iPhone 3. No, not a 3. 4. 2. Technically a 5, because I think it's got the Eight. finger sensor. Okay, well, sensor. the 5 is just a larger 4. Correct. With the finger sensor. Yeah. Which is just a... And a slightly better processor. No, I agree. Like, here's my thing. Um, Apple iPhone really has not evolved much at all, actually, if you think oh, about it. And they're cutting back the ones really. that are actually still viable. Wait, what? They're cutting back the ones that are still viable and usable. It's I like know. One diesel, which is upsetting. Yeah, no, I agree. Apple's doing some screwy shit. I have not been liking Apple too much recently. I just... I like my iPhone. I'm actually considering getting a Lumia for my next upgrade, though. Uh. Or... Probably not a Galaxy, but I might get a Lumia. Hey, oh, Galaxy, get the M8. Right. Should I get the W8? No. Should I stab you? Yes. Maybe. <laughs> Should you get a 3D printer? I what really want a 3D printer. Anything. I could 3D print my own phone. <laughs> Cause it totally works that way. Totally. Just so you know, we're at 57 minutes. I see that. We're actually at uh, 56, 59, 57. We actually managed to pull through this. Yeah, we did. We apologized, guys. Um, the shitty middle there. So, um, this is literally the last time we are doing this so early in the morning. This is probably going to be the last time we're ever going to record extremely early in the morning. Yeah. Like, what's sad is Griffin's probably the most awake. Or, me and Griffin are probably the most awake. And for Griffin, it's like 6 in the morning. No, I'm pretty awake. Um, I'm actually going to go to the close. gym after this. I'm just going to go back to bed. Left. I have to go finish laying bricks and digging a trench. What, what are you digging a trench for? Well, it's not a giant. Well, yeah, no. Um, around my entry, we're putting uh, concrete down. Oh. Because instead of the stones and dirt we currently have there, so we don't have water going to the basement anymore. Dug a hole. Yeah, so I get to do that, yay. Sounds like fun. Not really. I don't know. Along with intestinal distress. So, all right, the video is just about over, so I'll go into my usual spiel. If I have to you make a question. Oh, well, no, that's after the usual spiel. Oh, shut up. Okay. So, if you guys <laughs> liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up down below. Also, give it a favorite and comment down below. If you really like what we're doing, subscribe to all of our channels. It really helps us grow. Check out over at Big Box. That link is down in the description. It's got links to everyone's channels. Also, be sure to go watch other people's perspectives because everyone's playing different games during this. Well, actually, that's a lie. You can say I'm going to right now. No, because I'm still going to do a different game and then just do the voiceover. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sam's going to play League. Yes. Dude, no, no. He just could not play League during this because, you know, he had to will. focus. Sam he would have just gone it. silent. Yes. So, you know, be sure to check out all of the perspectives, uh, except Noel, because Noel's not here. Well, so, I wasn't recording, because I'm too tired, too. Oh, so Griffin wasn't recording either, but he was here. I would probably accidentally, like, click to the end recording button, <laughs> just by dozing out. That would have hey, but at least you were here. At least I was here. Yep. So, yeah, like, comment, rate, favorite, subscribe. And our final... Question of the day. Are we kicking myself out of big box? Wait, what? What? Let us know what? in the comments. <laughs> See you guys See you next, next time. time.